Kümmel. Kümmel, ne? Hi everyone. I could cry. <laughs> Can't believe I'm finally doing this, guys. I've been procrastinating for the past hundred years at this point. But anyways, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so switch on the notification bell. Per and what else? What else do they say? And share, okay? Hi honeys, welcome to day one of the vlog. Come with me as I go celebrate one of my besties 24th birthdays. We decided to go to the Madeo restaurant at the Palazzo Hotel for a little bit of an elegant high tea kind of celebration, chow. I know you guys are probably judging me and saying, Oh, yeah, Pigu, this is mental health break. <laughs> But I decided to go for a little bit of a lunch date with my friend, Sana, because what is life without lunch dates? We decided to go to Elephant & Co. Says it's spoil and get three course meal. And of course, we had some bubbles to drink. Guys, listen, I'm in my healthy girl era. And then you get this girl. Like, girl, not today. Also, who still orders burgers at your big age? Like, you you love yourself. And then you get me in my healthy girl era. And that's on I'm watching my figure, okay? We then decided to switch locations and go to one out of the two restaurants we have in PMB, Fire and Vine, to have some cocktails, Sana, and there was Scrum Daddy Yum Yum. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ciao! Anyways, go to Al 
chill with me. I just arrived. I'm posting now. I just arrived. And look who I am with. Hi. Why is it blurry? Fuck. Anyways. It's about to get litty. It's cut so cool. because why not so it's currently I think 20 to 7 and my movie only starts at 7 so I was like you know what let me go get myself a young chili cheese double burger um, from McDonald's while I wait I don't even want a meal because to be honest one of the main reasons I decided to come to the movies is because I was craving cinema popcorn nothing goes up like that one please if you want to fight me, pull up. <laughs> Nothing beats us. So I was just craving that and whispers and he's slashy. Do you get what I'm saying? Five best. I was like, you know what? Might as well. Just honey. So yeah. That is significantly what's going on right now. 
Y'all didn't tell me how awkward it is to vlog in public, like in the I tried to, to take like um, OOTD um, for you guys in the bathrooms. And like, the still was getting, I stopped. I was like, you know what? <laughs> but I'm gonna try to take one for you guys maybe after the movie or if I get there before seven, then I'll try to go to the bathrooms and do it again for you guys. But yeah, it's a very chill outfit, nothing much. I did see that cool, no? But yeah, anyways, let me eat my meal. Ciao. Wait, I thought maybe I could do a little debriefing on Ultra, <clears throat> especially for like people that haven't been before. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure Kona Baba Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, child, I had the time of my life. It was too good. It was too good. Um, I think the main thing is that you need to like just know your music taste, man. You know what but actually i don't think that even really matters that much because they have like three stages that cater for like every type of music taste do you get what i'm saying so it's better do you get what i'm <laughs> can i please stop saying do you get what i'm saying don't shy if i say it again um but yeah as i was saying um the thing is obviously the main act the international artists that do come are those that perform like without all that mm, English. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. As I was saying, the genres that they are particularly in is like electronic house. So if you don't enjoy electronic house, then I'm sure. Do you get what I'm saying? I mean, it can still work because there was a thingy, there was a particular stage that was playing a lot of like and Yanos and stuff like that so but but I don't think there was actually a stage that necessarily played hip hop it's all like different types of house music so obviously like the Yanos and um what is it the Yanos and Ikonfo and the house music which is probably why they catered for it at the event do you know what I'm saying but I'm a main act the, those, those that we care about the ones that we came for uh, within the um, electronic house genre so yeah but like either way you'll have a good time Sana Tinaje we were jumping from main stage and from the stage that had like the Yanos and the Goma and Chow I was living my best life being this being this if I drink a team you say Ibiza Sana you can't exaggerate anything but that is a goal one day like I feel like if I enjoy it, I'll definitely enjoy it later. Anyways, what's also good up? The old many first up. But yeah, anyways, um, besides that, okay, alcohol and stuff like that. Mm, mm, it was actually a little bit pricey. You could have easily booked a thousand rand la payana if you if you drink a lot. But luckily my friends and I are lightweight so let me say we spent approximately five six hundred rand but it's expensive because obviously the tickets already are expensive themselves <clears throat> and then to pay that much for drinks you know because obviously they have sponsors and everything so you would expect the prices to be a little bit lower um so yeah that was a good match mm. like kind of this jug that we bought and it was literally 180 rand that's 200 rand I mean, I guess it's not that bad, guys, but I'm just saying, um, it is like, it's not like cheap, you know, it's not like daisies where the drinks are literally like, for each shot, it's 20 rand or whatever the case may be, so yeah. Well, I'm not sure if it's still that price, but when I went, that was the price for daisies, but yeah. What else did I want to say? I mean, obviously, it's a new trauma because of what happened to Costa. Yeah, that was very sudden and tragic shame like and the weird thing is that my friends and i were actually watching 
his performance and we didn't even see the falling and everything like everything just happened so fast putting an ambulance in Hosanna um, and it was just we all just thought maybe he just fainted and he's gonna be fine but yeah what can we say life is very unpredictable and it's actually just crazy like it just goes to show how short life is and Jay ciao mm. but yeah uh, it's just unfortunate that that happened at Ultra <clears throat> But besides that, the rest of the experience was um, pretty good. I think I'd give it a 9 out of 10, mainly because the lineup that they had in the previous year was better. <laughs> and the previous, was it 20? 20, yeah. The lineup they had then was better than this year's lineup. That's the only reason why I'm giving them a 9 out of 10. So if they were to bring my faves again, then it would be 10 out of 10. But y'all, what else? But y'all, obviously, I don't really speak much in the vlog because when i was vlogging like you guys will see the ultra part i didn't really talk much because i was also trying to live in the moment and have fun so it's a one and i'm going to be mixed mentality yeah my video but i did try my best for a first time vlogger you get me which i anyways he has a pretty movie i think it's calm but it's hey imani guys iman 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 teaching i miss i love you bro I forgot to mention Bendigo and Izolo besides okay, Ultra itself the event was really good. But Bendigo, I was so sick yesterday. <laughs> not your girl cooking the whole entire concert and not concert the whole entire event festival rather. And it wasn't even a thing of like alcohol or anything like that because I was sick since I arrived. I just arrived and I was feeling ill. Do you get what I'm saying? I had just arrived. Please, being at the Jebu Nifty Moon, you should eat, you're not gonna enjoy it today, sweetheart. I need to enjoy it. And like, I was so sick, guys. Like, I would be fine, I would puke, be fine, and then get sick again. Do you get what I'm saying? So, it was just a lot. Like, the rascals of friends that I have were even making jokes, Betty, I'm with child. Like, Johnny, Dingo Veg, make it make sense. And this, I'm carrying. Ooh, ooh, Jesus Jr. and us. It has to be. Or well, it has to be the new age Jesus. I, I keep saying be, but it's definitely not my child. <laughs> it does not belong to me. So, definitely not that. And today, like the whole day, I've been fine. I haven't been feeling sick. It was just yesterday during Ultra where I was sick, and I really don't know why. But I think it's because of what I ate prior to going to the festival. But, yeah, anyways. Just thought I should tell you guys something y'all probably don't care about. But yeah. <laughs> guys, please tell me how I'm late when. <laughs> yeah, one thing about me, I'll be early just to be late. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys O O T D before I get my popcorn and shit. Um, so I'm wearing this leather jacket that my bestie got me. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, bestie. She got it from Superbalist. Then I'm wearing this simple white tee it's a bit like oversized ish you guys probably can't see i forgot where i got it from them okay then i'm wearing these boyfriend jeans oh, you guys can't see the whole fit that sucks but i'm wearing these boyfriend jeans from <clears throat> legit and this bag from legit face me body me <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay yeah then these are my actual glasses but yeah then i'm wearing these earrings from louisa and yeah, that's my outfit, guys. What I came for, sweethearts. <laughs> I'm back at home, yeah. And you guys to shower, you guys. Zela. I don't know whether it's because of the movie or because I first ate a burger, then I had like gang popcorn, which I didn't even finish, whispers and slash and eyes, but in Kisuti. And I actually wanted to come back home and do like week preps. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was putting Villing Lali San. Yo, and one thing about me, I'm a napper, I'm a nap star. I will nap. 
but the only issue with napping at this time is that you don't know whether you're gonna wake up or not like it's a very like it's a it's a very dangerous game to play very much dangerous so um and i wanted to actually cook something so when i went at the time that i went out for the movie because i left the house on six there was load shedding really so there really wasn't much i could do and i had just arrived back home anyways from where i was so um i'm gonna need to cook emilia miyaksasa and just for the next two days rather today before i sleep <laughs> nothing is looking realistic mm. nothing is looking realistic i wanted to do that then i also wanted to do some like me time things um because i still guys learning and judge now man division so i needed to do that and now it's march the longer i wait this is not this shit is not gonna get done i need to fill in that goal setting template um that was posted by Unogukhe Kumalo. shout out shout out so i need to um finish that off i literally haven't gotten time to do please so i actually also wanted to do that today you know what let me stop discussing my to-do list and actually take shit off of it <laughs> the last time i spoke to you guys um i was just updating you guys about my to-do list and things that i need to take off trust me to sit on whatsapp and tiktok for like a good 40 minutes before doing what i meant to do anyway child i finally snapped out of it and i've decided to just wind down like wash my face just like clear up what's going on with this pocket shell um just clear up the place because also i haven't been home in a in a bit I haven't been home in a bit so it's not it's not dirty but it's not like clean clean so i just want to clean up a bit just neaten everything up then after that i'm just going to prepare my lunch for tomorrow for the next two days i'm not going to do that anymore because it's just unrealistic and then i'm just gonna um, um read the bible pray and sleep like I just thought about it realistically and everything that I want to do is not gonna it's, it's just not gonna happen so yeah also guys I got this bonnet from Rue hair crown shout outs she does like the best forelocks in Shabin so when I went to go do my forelocks I also bought this bonnet from her anyways <laughs> I've always wanted to do this guys <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me what I use for my skin. So I thought I should like give you guys a little night care routine and then in my next video I'll show you guys my daytime routine. <laughs> hey yeah, like guys, no but not even a single person has asked me for this. Like I'm literally this is me. Nobody Chana. Literally. I have no business doing this because I get put on booze you can get a but you know what? I'm manifesting good skin. So come with me on this skincare journey because I have very problematic skin. But I'm trying to have glass skin, okay? I'm honestly trying to develop over glass skin. Sign a marayo. I one thing about skin. <laughs> One thing about skin, it will do what you thought it will do. <laughs> it will surprise you the same way in daughter surprises you, okay, my dear. Believe me that. Believe me that, okay? Okay, guys, so I start by washing my hands of me. Also, now the angle, guys, you please. I need to actually get okay stand as well, Manjula, while I'm busy doing my thing. But you know what? Promise you guys, next month we'll be doing better. 
Honestly, for now, we're just working with what we have because I've been making excuses for the longest time ever. So my friends have just been like, girl, if you don't, if you don't start, but you get my ultimatum. So I'm just like, you know what, let me just start with what I have. And then once I already have your boy oomph and I'm in it, then so elevate. Let me guys. Little by little. Oh, let me tell you what you guys.